morning, everybody. This is Mike Lung over at Allendale's Train Floor. It is Tuesday, March 30th, starting the day with a lot of red on the screen this morning and cautious uh, trade ahead of this prospectus plannings as well as grain stocks report out here tomorrow. So we're going to be looking at the prospective plantings and grain stocks. As of right now, a lot of estimates are relatively in line with corn getting between 92 to 94 million acres with beans around that uh, 89 to 90 area for your average estimate. On the grain stock side of things, a lot of people will be watching to see if there is any surprises on any of the previous quarterly stocks reports where they can make adjustments, do a little uh, pencil whipping with that report and trying to make it potentially a little bit more bullish than what we're currently expecting. On the macro side of things, we're looking at this dollar continuing to climb higher with crude finding some weakness this morning with uh, OPEC looking to meet on Thursday to discuss further production cuts or whether or not they will continue with any kind of production cuts. As of right now, we're looking at uh, open interest wise for these grains. Some early rolling taking place out of the May contract into the July ahead of that Goldman roll that will take place early April. And on the outside market side of things, we will be watching any kind of news in regards to vaccine rollouts, any kind of normalcy that could be taking place here soon, and uh, whether or not we get back to a normalized global economy to help out with the crude energies, all that uh, good macro outside market uh, information. So definitely something to be paying attention to very closely, any headlines in regards to. On the livestock side of things, box beef, impressive gains on select yesterday, up 473 with choice up $1.87 pork carcass up 31 cents here on the PM report yesterday. On the technical side of things, we are right in the center part of this range. It looks like at this point we did go back up towards this resistance zone and so far rejecting that movement, potentially working our way back down towards this support zone. Any close below 531 and a half will be the first time we see a close below that since the early part of this year, the later part of January. So definitely something to be monitoring with that report tomorrow, whether or not it's bullish, bearish, or in between. Uh, but as of right now, looking at this range, still holding as of right now. We just released our new weekly snapshot. If you guys have not signed up yet, please give Zach a call 800-262-7538. That number is 800-262-7538. Any questions for me directly? 815 815- five seven eight six one seven seven but today for Allendale this is Mike Long you guys have a great one out there mm-hmm.